was popping homies it's your favorite home girl gossip girl you know i was supposed to put some content out today i had the stories and everything all lined up where i wanted to talk about but i'm kind of pissed off and when i get pissed off i don't do anything i just give myself a day or two and then i'll regroup and come back i'm pissed off because you know on tiktok i'm growing pretty good you know i have about what 16.5 k followers um, my, my, my posts are getting some views, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing too bad over there, but one of my posts, um, that I made about Julia, Julia Easton and her mom, Lenage Easton, when the first, when, when it first came out, I posted about it and I got over 5 million views. It was actually 5.3 million views. And I've been trying to keep, you know, keep up with the case. And every time I found out something new, I posted. it. I wasn't the only one talking about this case. It's so many people on TikTok that's talking about it and their videos are still there. All of my videos that I talked about that case is gone. Saying that I, I violated community guidelines. I did not violate any guidelines. Everything that I post is in the media. Everything that I post is public record. So how did I violate anything? I didn't violate anything. So I'm so mad because I'm like, what the heck is going on here? So I did appeal it. And of course, guess what? They did not reinstate any of the videos. And it, it just makes me sad because I'm like, but you still got videos of other people up there talking about this case. Why come after my videos? And what made me look was a girl who had um, shared something with me. She said, hey, did any of your videos of that case, are they still up? So I said, well, one was taken, but I, re I appealed it the other day and they put it back. I go look again and I told her, I said, hey, all the videos got community guidelines on it. So I appealed it. And as soon as I found, got an answer back from whoever behind the TikTok walls, um, they, you know, said it wasn't going to reinstate it. So I let her know. And she was like, wow, that's crazy because, you know, the same thing with her. You know, and it's it's crazy. So it's like, all right, me and her was hit, but everybody else, their videos are still there. I didn't say anything bad about the. I didn't bash nobody. I just post what was in the news on TikTok. You know, I wrote it out, put my picture up, put my my name on it, and that was that. And the vid, one of the videos got over five million views, and that video is now gone. It's gone. When I do content on YouTube, listen, it is what it is. I don't, I'm not in the algorithm like that for some reason. And it's harder to get views on TikTok, but I still talk about it because stuff is happening. You know, I like to post about it. But it just frustrates me when I'm not doing anything nasty or mean to anybody. I'm just talking about what's in the news and what's going on. And it's getting taken down. It's like, what the, what's going on? So I'm a little pissed off. The content that I was going to put up tonight, I'll put up tomorrow if I'm feeling up to it. But um, what else can I do? Who else can I reach out to about this? Because I feel like I did not violate anything. And there's nobody else to really talk to. I try to find like emails and stuff. Can't find nothing. So I don't know what else to do. If you know anything, please let me know. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later.